Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing this pop art makeup and this is the first time I've ever done something like this and I'm very excited. And if you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Monday and Thursday. I'm currently doing my Halloween series and if you want to see how I did this, then just keep on watching. So for this look, I started with my face with the Body Shop Wonder Blur Primer that is a pore minimizing primer. And for foundation, I used the My Perfect Color from Primark that has kind of a medium to full coverage, looks really beautiful on the face and I blended it with a sponge. For concealer, I used the Revolution Conceal on the Fine under my eyes and also a little bit on the center of my face and then also blended it with the sponge. For powder, I used the Technic Soft Focus Transparent Loose Powder and I started by baking my under eyes and also my smile lines to see if they didn't crease. And then I used a large fluffy brush to set my entire face and also to wipe off my baking. Then I took the Kiko Definition Waterproof Eyeliner, but actually to do my brows. And I found this one really helpful to do especially the outside lines. And I wanted to make my eyebrows very strong and very blocky. But then I took an eyebrow brush to fill them in better and really make them very blocky. Then I took the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and I used this bronzer shade just to give a little bit of depth to my lids. Then I took the Revolution SFX Ultimate Face Paint Palette and I took the black shade to do the outlines of my face. Now, I think I could have gone for a little bit smaller brush because the line came out a little bit thicker than I was expecting, but I still think it looks good. And this part, there was a lot of drawing the face, dipping in back into the color and drawing again and seeing if both sides were similar. Then at this point, I had already done my jaw, but Looking straight forward, it was too low, so you couldn't see it. So I just wiped that part and did my base again. And then I'm going to show you how I did it the right way. So on the jawline, I was basically going from one side to the other, trying to make sure the line was as symmetrical as possible. And then I also took that same eyebrow brush to make sure the line was sharp. Okay, next with the same eyebrow brush, I was trying to find the hollow of my cheek and I draw a line on that same spot on one side of my face. And then I try to find the exact same spot on the other side to make it symmetrical. With my elbow resting on the table, I did a line down my nose to kind of do a contour of that. I draw a line on the inside of my cupid's bow. And then I did the same thing to give definition to my chin and draw a line on the deepest part. And then I did kind of the same thing on my neck, trying to find the definition between my muscles and my collarbone. And then because I wanted to do a tear face, I also drew a line next to one of my brows to give it kind of a sad look. 
these three small lines on the center of my face. I also went on top of them with the Kiko eyeliner to make them more defined. And then I took the NYX Epic Ink Liner, because I actually like this one better than the one from Kiko, to do a very normal winged eyeliner. And then to define my crease, I did a small line on top of my crease. Next, I took the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in white to do my bottom waterline to kind of make my eyes look a little bit bigger. And again, with the Epic Ink Liner, I did a new outline of my eye under the white. This is kind of hard to explain, but I think you can see the effect. It kind of opens up your eye. And then I also did some little fake eyelashes on the outer corners, but those didn't stand out a lot. Next, I took the Kiko Standout Volume Buildable Mascara that gives kind of a false lash effect and I applied it on my top lashes and on my bottom lashes. If you want to, you could also add false lashes to this look for a more dramatic effect. Then I took again the face paint palette and I used the lightest blue on a very thin detail brush and I started to outline a tear shape. Now this is a work of a lot of patience, so I started to make a lower tear drop and I did mostly the outlines, then closer to my inner corner I did a smaller tear drop and then when I was happy with the shape of the tears I filled everything in with the cream paint. And then with the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette I took the bright blue to give it a little bit of depth to the part closest to my eye. Then again with the Epic Ink Liner I took a very very light hand to create a very thin line to outline this kind of teardrop shape. And with the white liquid eyeliner I added some highlights to the biggest part of the teardrops. Next I took a red lipstick and a makeup brush and with the bottom of the brush I started adding some red dots to one side of my forehead. And then I did the same thing but on the opposite side of my jawline. For my lips I took a bright red matte liquid lipstick. This one is a Kat Von D dupe from AliExpress and I did my entire lips with this one. Then while the lipstick was drying I took again the black paint and I added some definition to my ears. Again, with the NYX Epic Ink Liner, I outlined my lips with a fine line. And then I took another one of those AliExpress liquid lipsticks in black and I added it to the inner part of the center of my lips. On the bottom lip I had to add a little bit more of red and then I also added a few lines with the Epic Ink Liner to give kind of a dimension to the lip. 
Finally, with the same white eyeliner I used for the tears, I added some highlights to the lips and that is it. Okay, and this is the finished look. I am so happy about this and I think that for the first time I did a nice job even though it took me a lot of time but I'm very happy about this and if you liked it then don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and on my next video I'm going to have a Joker inspired makeup so if you'd like to see that and more videos like this then don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Monday and Thursday and that is everything for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!